Let's float. Where to? Rocket bar. Hey y'all, my name's Don and this is my one wheel pint. I love this thing, it is my primary way of getting around Washington DC where I live. I plan my routes based on bike paths so I get more range and a safer ride overall. In this video I'll show you how I do that super quick with a custom app that I made for my iPhone and bonus, I'm gonna show you how to make your own app so that you can plan your bike paths really quickly too. All right, let's get it. For those of you who don't wanna learn how to build this app and you just wanna download what I've already built, the link's in the description, I got you. All right, to get this thing to work, you're gonna need two apps, Apple Shortcuts and Google Maps. Let's start with the end in mind. We'll build a shortcut that listens for where we want to go and then builds a web address that looks like this. Imagine all this is typed on the same line on your web browser. I just broke it into sections so we can talk about what each piece does. This top line, com Google Maps colon slash slash, that tells our iPhone to open the Google Maps app. So the second line, the question mark, signals to Google that we're gonna ask a question. In this context, the question is, how do I get to my destination address? Here's where the voice input for our app goes. Now we need to do this nerdy thing with the voice input called URL encoding, but the Shortcuts app handles that for us. Basically, that means that it takes our destination address that might have spaces and special characters, and it translates it into something that we could type into a web URL. Okay, the next line is an and sign, and it basically tells Google that we have more to say. Here's where we give it our directions mode, which in our case is bicycling. In the context of our app, this won't change, so we can hard code it into the URL. All right, let's grab our iPhones and I'll show you how to put this together. So I shared this video before publishing it to YouTube and people had questions, so I'm gonna answer those questions now. Paul asks, what's the benefit over just opening Google Maps and hitting biking directions? So the one benefit is this is faster. And on the other side of that, Siri cannot give you biking directions because Apple Maps doesn't have biking directions. So this gives you the advantage of being able to use your voice. Next question, does it verbally tell you directions in your ear? Yes, so I wear my AirPods while I'm riding and then the Google Maps app just tells me when my next turn is and I hit it. Hi, <laughs> so I made a second version of this app that doesn't require you to use Siri and I'm debating on whether to make that a blog post or another video. So tell me in the comments what you prefer. Make sure to follow this dude. I'm gonna try to learn this one wheel soon, <laughs> one day. It's so much fun. But for yeah. now I'm a spectator. I enjoy the sport of spectator. Whoop. 